Dear students, my name is Bhavneet and welcome to my channel IELTS with Bhavneet. In this lesson, we are going to look at the beginning of your IELTS speaking test. This is when you walk into the IELTS speaking examination room and you greet the examiner for the first time. This is before part first begins. You'll need to greet the examiner and do an identification check. We often call this part zero and there are four questions to part zero. I'm going to give you the questions and give you some useful tips so that you can be confident in your answers and give a good first impression to the examiner. So let's start with the first question. In the first question, the examiner will introduce him or herself and the examiner will give their names. So the examiner is going to say, good afternoon, my name is Pavneet Kaur. What's your full name? Or maybe they might say, could you tell me your name, please? And you need to say, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Pavneet. You can give the examiner's name or not. It's your choice. And then you can say, my name's Inayat, Gupta or anything that you want to say. It's a simple question and simple answer. But I still have some tips for you. So the first tip is, if you are going to use the name of the examiner and say, good morning or good afternoon, Miss Pavneet, please don't give a title. This is incorrect in English. We don't use titles with first name. So if you are going to use the name of the examiner, only say good afternoon, Pavneet. But if you do not feel comfortable using the name of the examiner, it's totally fine. It's not a problem. You can just say good afternoon or sir or ma'am. You can also say like that as well. Now, when you give your name, there are two tips that I want you to remember. The first tip is when you give your name, you say, my name's Inayat. Please don't say, my name is Inayat. I want you to use the contraction, my names. Now, the reason this is important is because this is the part of pronunciation. When you contract a word from is to my names, this is higher level pronunciation. So remember that for the rest of your exam and try to use it as much as you can. And the other tip is when you give your name, please don't say quickly. Don't say in Hayat. Okay, just say the name in a clear manner because sometimes it's difficult for the examiner to hear foreign names. So you need to say my name's Inayat. And of course, the point is to smile. Don't forget to smile. This is your chance to greet the examiner and be friendly and show confidence. So smile and look at the examiner in the eyes and relax. The second question is quite easy and the examiner will ask you, what can I call you? And there are three ways that you could reply. You could say, you can call me Inayat. Or you could say, just call me Inayat. Or please call me Inayat. So these are three possible answers that you can give. Now for some tips, my first tip is please don't explain why people call you this. This is not really a part of the test. This is only the greeting. So you are going to give the examiner simple clear answer. You do not need to add more information and I know some of you have English names and of course you can give the examiner your English name. You can say uh, you can call me by my English name Mary. Now this is totally fine. Now do not make a mistake with the sentence. You still need to say you can call me by. You have to use the by preposition. You can say, you can call me by my English name, which is Mary. You have to say like that. And if you don't have an English name, please don't worry. It doesn't matter. So let's have a look at the third question. The third question is, the examiner will ask you, where are you from? Or the examiner might say, could you tell me where you come from? Now, let me give you some possible answers. You could say, I'm from Jaipur. Or you can say, I come from Jaipur, or you could add more information if you want. Not too much, a bit more if you want. Or you can just simply say, I'm from Punjab, which is dash of India. Now it's good to add a little bit more information. It's friendly, but it shows the examiner good grammar, which is in the East. This is a close, which means it's a higher band score grammar. So try to use it. So you are already showing the examiner that you have a good English. Now let's have a look at some tips. 
don't expand any further you can give the location and stop please don't say any more again there are simple questions a simple answer also don't ask the examiner any question so for example don't say i come from jaipur have you been there don't give the examiner recommendations don't say i come from jaipur i think you should really go there so please don't do that just keep it simple short and accurate and the last step for you is with the pronunciation for the names of cities where you come from and please try to use the english pronunciation so for example calcutta please don't say kolkata please they uh, please say calcutta the reason that we do this is because you are showing the examiner that the english pronunciation is natural for you right so now let's move to the last question question 4th the examiner will ask you could i see your identification please or the examiner might say can you show me your identification please now for example of course you need to give the examiner your identification you can also say here you are or you can say sure here you are or you can say of course here it is you can choose any of those answers so these are the four questions for part 0 for greeting the ielts examiner and doing the identification check please watch the video again practice answering the questions correctly and remember smile relax and be confident and start your test in a right way well that's all i'll see you in my next ielts lesson